hello everyone and this is my review for elementary OS okay so uh, what is elementary OS I came to know about elementary OS by some blog I was reading or something and one day I just upgraded Ubuntu 14.04 to 14.10 however Mm, it really cre really created some problems and 14.10 was not that stable like 14.04 so I thought of formatting my computer and changing my operating system so I basically installed elementary OS because um, I had it so I just uh, wanted to try it and I have seen reviews on it and they were pretty good so today I'm reviewing over elementary OS Luna okay so what is elementary OS it's actually mm, a whole operating system based on Ubuntu 12.04 the next version that was called um, is awaited yet and that would be based on 14.10 Ubuntu you can see here in configuration that uh, this system is based on um, Ubuntu 12.04 precise pangolin so this is the elementary OS system based on Ubuntu so uh, why do we inst why do we need to s install a system that is based on some other system uh, why don't we install um, Ubuntu directly or 12.04 well uh, so I may give you a reason you can see that my system looks very good than 12.04 Ubuntu would look like uh, it's like a copy of Mac it's a ma clone of Mac in, as they call poor man's Mac sometimes but however it's a very powerful inch system you can see with its Here's the website. You can go and download it directly. It's free and open source, like Ubuntu. Uh, it's very responsive. It's more res more faster, fast than Ubuntu. However, um, you can see that the browser, Firefox and Chrome, they were not inbuilt. I have to download them externally and uh, the inbuilt browser that came with the system was Midori um, I didn't like that browser quite so I uninstalled it so, um, I should have kept it but then it's, it's fine the terminal here is a different terminal it's not the genome terminal or the KDE terminal that Ubuntu uses it's the inbuilt terminal however it doesn't save history like the Ubuntu terminal however but you can work with it. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, with a little of customizations. Look at the system. How good it looks. Great looks. You didn't have an Office app installed with it, so you can install Open Office, and around all apps work with it quite fine. And uh, you have some repository drivers that can be installed with it however all the essential drivers including the camera one or um, Wi-Fi drivers, LAN drivers or sound drivers they come with the OS itself it's really a very lightweight and a really good operating system to use so you can rely on it right you have Bluetooth driver and Mm, there were basic settings like you cannot left click oh sorry you cannot right click and any settings would open for um anything the settings won't open for anything on the screen it's like screen saver if you want to change the screen saver you have to open the settings system settings and then go to the, the desktop I guess it's right, yes. And then we have to change the wallpaper. 
I quite like this one, the maple one. But yeah, so you got some less things, something less. Mm, you can uh, install tweaks. You'll find them in PPAs, and you can install these tweaks. They are pretty good tool to customize your system. You can customize around everything, the tools with this tool. You can see <laughs> around every software works, but if you are a developer and working on open stacks, then OpenStax won't work with elementary OS. However, it's based on Ubuntu, but still, OpenStax won't work. Mm, I'm trying to make it work, but uh, it may take some time, and so till then, Mr. Fuck. And around everything works like this cheese, the camera software cheese works, and then you have software center. how it the system don't come doesn't come with any kind of pre-installed uh, softwares like uh, the tornet uh, ubuntu comes with transmission but it didn't come with transmission and i have to install this camera soft this thing cheese camera software and uh, like open office separately it had didn't have any office software and uh, VLC media player and all these things were installed by me later but things work fine here mm, they really do work fine like you can see transmission it's working good you can download torrent and use here It's a really lightweight system and very very responsive. So if you need anything like a responsive system and you don't do a lot of work like so you just want to surfing through internet and uh, office presentations and excel sheets you can have um, and watch movies you can have VLC internet explorer and of course all essential software at one place you have uh, you had music that was built in built by uh, the elementary team but then i have downloaded rhythm box at as i had ubuntu and i found it uh, really good so i just downloaded rhythm box but you can get and you will get updates for that too so you can it's, uh, around download every software uh, you need on this system so I would recommend uh, using this system if you want a better user experience and its GUI is pretty interactive and pretty easy so mm, a basic user who doesn't like too much commands and all elementary OS is the tool for you. Thank you. I'll be back giving reviews on some other Linux distributions or uh, um, tutorials for installing things of course till then bye bye